All right, what's up, y'all? It's Phil Harmonix. So the new update for Logic just came out. One of the things I was most excited about was uh, the ability to stem tracks. Okay, so previously I was using a tool on the web called Fader, uh, you know, which re required a monthly subscription. However, the new update for Logic has that ability built in. So I just kind of want to show you real quick how to do it. Um, so this is a simple track that I um, had done in Suno, which is an, is that AI um, music generator. And so it's just a simple, uh, well, I made it a simple loop. You know, I just took a small part from what it generated to make this simple loop. I set the BPM and all that. So that's what it sounds like. All right, so I just got a loop. And so when you update Logic, all you have to do if you want to stem anything is you're going to select the audio file. You're going to left click. You're going to hold control and left click. You're going to go to processing. Then you're going to go to stem splitter. It's going to ask what you want to split. And as far as I know, this is all it does right now. Vocals, drums, bass, and other instrumentation. So there is no vocals in this, but I want to make sure it tries to grab everything else. So you select what you want. Hit split. It's super fast. After you do that, stems what you have and it puts it into a stack, which is pretty nice automatically. And so if we listen to this, oh, it also mutes the original track, which is nice. So if you listen to it now, it sounds the same. But now, you know, we can mute the drums. It does a really good job. We can mute the bass, just have like the sample. So this is a good way to maybe get some new samples that are not licensed. Just have the bass. Or the bass and the drums. So yeah, that's how you use the new stem splitting uh, tool in Logic. If you found this helpful, make sure you like the video and uh, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks.